What's up y'all, Rip the Realtor here to bring you your ultimate guide to Swanee. In this video, I'll be giving you a detailed walkthrough of all there is to know about Swanee by telling you about the schools, uh, the demographics, all the different things to do, basics of Swanee on a map, and so much more. Now, I've been a Georgia native for almost 45 years, which is crazy since I'm only 27 years old. All that to say, I know the area. But before I get into all that, don't forget to hit subscribe and ring that bell so you get the heads up when I post a new video. And remember, every person that subscribes, I give a puppy to a cute baby somewhere in the world. Everybody loves a good Rocky story, and Swanee was a nobody and a nobody town. Then in 1838, when the Swanee Post Office was established, the federal government recognized Swanee as a real town. And Swanee's been on a championship tear ever since. CNN Money Magazine voted Swanee one of the best places to live in 2007, 2009, and 2013. Family Circle said it was in the top 10 places to raise a family. Time Magazine put Swanee on the list of 100 most genius places in America, not one year, but two years in a row. And in 2019, backgroundchecks.org named it as one of the safest cities in Georgia. That's winning, Swanee. Good job. So, let's talk about the schools. My wife and I actually moved to the Suwannee area over six years ago because of the fantastic schools for our kids. I'm, I'm not going back to school. But our youngest son's school, Burnett Elementary, is in the top 10% of schools nationally. Suwannee schools have 40% better test scores than the national average and 10% higher rate of high school graduation than the national average. Swanee also has schools in the top 1%, like these schools on the screen, as well as schools in the top 5%, like these schools on the screen. Now, my best subject was always sports and extracurricular activities. So, of course, let me note that the schools have uh, language clubs, culture clubs, film clubs, computer coding clubs, robotics clubs, academic club, Pretty much you name it and there's a club for it. And of course, tons of strong sports programs. Now, you're in the South, so football's huge. But of course, all the other major sports are offered too. In fact, Swanee High Schools hold state titles in several sports, including football, cheerleading, basketball, baseball, wrestling. So, smart and athletic. Now, let's talk about Swanee demographics. The population growth has been up 36% since 2010, and that's a good thing. There's more development, more opportunities, more ways to thrive. Even though the population is up, crime is still low. In fact, 25% less crime than the state average and 19% less crime than the national average, and 52% less violent crime than the national average with zero reported murders in 2019. Now that's not to say there were a lot of murders in 2020 or 2021, it's just that 2019 is the latest data I have for it. So, also 55% of households have children under 18 compared to the national average of 43%, which makes sense because Swanee is a great town to raise a family or for already established families that have kids, even great for empty nesters. But if I'm shooting you straight, it may not be the prime place for younger single folks. I love y'all, but if you're looking for that bar scene or that single looking to mingle vibe, I would look a little closer to the city of Atlanta. So let's talk about things to do in Suwannee. Oh man, are there a lot of things to do in the city of Suwannee. Let's first talk about Suwannee Town Center. It's kind of like their downtown area and is a mecca of stuff to do. They have tons of events throughout the year, such as uh, the sizzling summer concerts, Broadway in the Park, uh, American Craft Beer Fest, Movie Under the Stars, Santa, I know him. 
and multiple 5K and 10K races. So many, I'd get out of breath just mentioning all of them. By the way, the ones I did mention, you can find more info at the links in the description below. Suwannee Town Center is also where City Hall is located. The Town Center currently encompasses more than 100,000 square feet of retail space and 87,000 square feet of office space. That means business is going down and food is all around. From recognizable favorites like Mellow Mushroom and Ippolito's to hidden gems like Golden 7 and Cafe Amico. Maybe after grabbing some ice cream, you can let the kids play in the fountain. Also not far from there is Everett's Music Bar. They have live bluegrass, and of course, the Swanee Farmer's Market is nearby as well. Once you leave the Swanee Town Center, go check out some of the parks. Swanee has over 600 acres of parkland and many, many miles of walking and biking trails. Some of my favorites are the Swanee Greenway, uh, George Pierce Park, and Sims Lake Park. In fact, my oldest son learned how to ride a bike at Sims Lake Park. He also learned what it felt like to crash a bike too. Oh, not fast enough. My wife loves to go to Swanee Creek Park and run on the greenways. And sometimes I will volunteer to take the kids to the playground while she runs, of course. But my favorite is George Pierce Park, mainly because I coach youth football there. It's over 300 acres and several amenities, such as a senior recreation wing, there's two gyms, uh, an indoor walking track, outdoor basketball courts, 15 sports fields, yes, 15, miles of trails, including Ivy Creek Greenway Trailhead, and even a pond for spotting fish and turtles. In fact, Swanee was recognized in 2008 as the top park agency in the nation by the National Recreation and Park Association and the American Academy for Park and Recreation Administration. Take that, Leslie Nope and Ron Swanson and the rest of the crew over at Parks and Rec. I love that show. Pay close attention because next I'm gonna go through some random things to do in Swanee. But one of these might be really up your alley or maybe up the alley of someone else in your household. So first off, the Harvest Farm Community Garden. It's actually Georgia's largest community garden. It's part of White Street Park and you can rent plots on a first come, first serve basis, but with priority given to Swanee taxpaying residences. So pay your taxes. Swanee has amazing golf courses uh, Bears Best, a Jack Nicholas course, is a great one that you can play without being a member. The Chattahoochee River, Chattahoochee River, runs through Swanee where you can float, swim, boat, fish. There's also Main Event Entertainment who have an arcade, food, bowling, ropes course, laser tag. It's really good for kids or adults. Adrenaline Climbing offers an indoor rock climbing experience and Atlanta Silverbacks offers indoor soccer fields, arcade games, and organized sports programs. I've actually coached teams there as well. So let's quickly talk about things to do that are in close driving distance to Swanee. Uh, you're just minutes from Lake Lanier, which is a huge lake for every type of boating and water sports you can think of. There's also several restaurants on the water, and of course, Lake Lanier Islands. That was recently purchased by Jimmy Buffett, which opened, of course, Margaritaville. It sits on the island to complement the amazing water park, the beach there, and the golf course. You can reach the islands by car or by boat. You're also right at 30 minutes to get to uh, Braves game, Georgia Tech game, Falcons game, an Atlanta United game, a Hawks game, which by the way, all those stadiums have major concerts and events there too and you're less than an hour away from the campus of UGA to catch a Bulldogs game. With all the stuff to do and spend your money on, let's talk about the cost of living and housing in Swanee. Because Swanee is such a great place to live, cost of living is a bit higher. Housing is 39% higher than the national average, which drives the overall cost of living to 12% more than the national average and home values in Swanee have risen dramatically. On average, they've gone up $50,000 this year. 
but with such a strong school system, quality of life, and proximity to the city, the long-term Swanee real estate appreciation looks very promising. Majority of the homes are between $300,000 to $600,000 with, of course, higher price homes available, including some homes over $10 million. but there's still great options for under $300,000 too. In fact, I have clients who have bought just under the $300,000 mark and clients who have bought well over the half million dollar mark. You may be thinking, Swanee sounds awesome, but where in Georgia is it? Now, as you can see, Swanee is located just northeast of Atlanta. It's surrounded by other great communities like Johns Creek, Alpharetta, Buford, and Lawrenceville. This is Lake Lanier. You can see how big it is by the number of cities that surround it. Cumming, Buford, Gainesville, Dawsonville, just to name a few. Interstate 85 and 985 are conveniently located so you can jump on I-85 South for a short ride into Atlanta or the Atlanta Hartsfield Airport. Or you can jump on I-985 North and in less than an hour be in the heart of the Georgia mountains. Remember that awesome Swanee Town Center area I was telling you about? Here's where it's located. There's 147 townhomes and condos and 85 single family homes all around the 10 acre Town Center Park. Few roads to make note of to get you around Swanee is Peacher Industrial Boulevard and Buford Highway. Both will run right through Swanee and get to know Lawrenceville Swanee Road because it can take you from I-85 to the Swanee Town Center and eventually to Lake Lanier. Well, I hope all this helps and serves as a guide and gives you a clear picture of the beautiful town of Swanee. I tried my best to cover everything, but it's impossible to cover all of it. But if you have any questions about Swanee, you can literally call or text me and I'll get an answer for you. And remember, in order to get those cute babies some puppies, you gotta subscribe. Love y'all.